sweet home Chicago, where even the ivy in fall changes. Little Martha Stewart moment. Sammy Sosa running out 27 outs to the World Series. Let's start counting early. They got two of them away in the first with Mark Pryor facing Derek Lee. Says, all right, now we only got 24. First K of the game. Home half of the first, Kenny Lofton leading off. That's a base hit to right field. That ties a major league record. Kenny's reached base eight out of 11 times in the first inning this postseason. Of course, you've got to get him home, and that's where Sam comes through, shooting it the other way. That's down, an RBI double, Lofton scoring. Sam was three for four, and the Cubs had themselves a one nothing lead. Third inning, Juan Pierre on second. Luis Castillo bunting to move on. Oh, Aramis Ramirez making the swell play. Top 10 nominee over there in foul ground. Look at him. You give effort, and effort is the key to success, and the Cubs get out of the inning unscathed. Let's go to the fifth. Juan Pierre, this time over at first. He's going to try to steal second, and, well, a thrown ball is a lot faster than a grown man. Got him. Pryor is pleased, thanks to the throw from Paul Bacco. Top six, one up and still. Pryor. Good to get rid of Pudge. He's been damaging. Got to get him on the bench where he can't do any harm. Next batter, Miguel Cabrera, swinging six Ks through six. Nasty there. Bottom of the six, Sammy up again. Shattering the bat, Carl Pavano, tough. The bat, it's all good, just toothpicks. How about Sam beating it out? Well done, got to hustle down the line. Later in the inning, Pavano was pulled. Dontrell Willis comes in from the pen. Facing pinch hitter Eric Carroll's. That one gets away, and Sosa going to come home from third. And just like that, Cubs got a cheap one, two nothing. Dusty, hustle on up now. We head to the eighth inning. Fans outside of Waveland have, they can taste it. Oh, the series is so close. Pryor still on the bump, throwing the pill over the dish, one out. And Castillo flips it over down the left field line. Moises Alou over to catch it, and then, wait. It's not in his glove, it's in the stands. Who caught it? What happened? The fan gets in the way. 8.3 million people in the Chicago metro area, and that guy is alone. Reaches out. Lou not happy. He thought it was fan interference. Not called. Ump says no. Here's how each side saw this controversial incident. I don't know if it's a natural reaction to try to catch the ball, but if you're for your team, you got to, like, let, you know, give your player every opportunity and chance to catch that ball. The ball was in the stands. Whether Alou could have caught it or not, that's questionable, but the ball is in the stands. And the ball is in the stands. The fans have a right to catch it. In the heat of the moment, you know, you want the ball, you know. That's what happened. It's all about the souvenir. Guy had a Cub hat. He's bleacher bumming. Next pitch, Castilla after the fan. It's the ball four. Gets by Baco. Runners now on the corner. And here comes Pudge Rodriguez. So dangerous all postseason. Just put another zero on next year's paycheck. RBI base hit. Juan Pierre scores. And it is 3-1 Cubbies. Your next batter, Miguel Cabrera. To short. Gonzalez. Oh, booty. Go, boy. That had to hurt. Bases are now chucked. That's a curse at a very bad time. Heel the glove and down. Next batter, Derek Lee, trying to hold it together. No, that's down. Left field line. Two are going to score. We're tied at three. That would be it for Pryor. He's done. Turn it over to the bullpen. Kyle Farnsworth first up. Jeff Conine with the bases loaded. Dusty, is he going to get what he needs? Not here. He's going to get an out, but a sack fly from Conine and the Marlins have come back from three down to the eighth to take a 4-3 lead. It took all of about 10 minutes, even a minute less. After an intentional walk to load the bases again, Mike Mordecai, a shot to the Ivy. That is down and start the merry-go-round. Everybody running quick. One, two, three runs will score, and the Marlins are now up 7-3. to three. The team stoked, especially Mordecai. Look at the joy. They want to play one more game. A lucky fan. Not so lucky. Douse with Lick. Look at that. The fans not treating him right. Marlins get eight runs in the inning. Bottom nine. Oogie Urbina. The Cubs, the last six go down in order. Lofton pops out to force a game seven. Marlins, 8-3. Crazy. A fan and Alex Gonzalez. Game six turns and two guys who failed to make the catch. Credit the Marlins, though, for five base hits in the eighth as well. Pryor finally nicked just his second loss in his last 14 starts. Now, if you're counting, that's five straight games the Cubbies have lost when they could clinch the NLCS. Five of the Marlins' six postseason wins. They come from behind variety. We are even at three apiece. We were supposed to just fall over and play dead, and I told you, these guys are they are tough. They're going to battle you all the way. 
We didn't come in here to play one game. We came here to make it the seven-game series, and, you know, thank God we're going to do that. Tonight, there's nothing you can do. I think it's something overnight tomorrow. We got Kerry Wood going, and, uh, you know, it's going to be tough to beat both those guys. And so I still like our chances very much. We're at home here tomorrow, game seven. I think they beat us two out of three there. here. We beat them two out of three down there. So, you know, we're just, we're back to even. Pressure's all on them now. I mean, we're, not, we're not worried about anything. They were up three to one. Now we're back tied three to three, so. We're the fighting fish. I mean, we never give up. You know what I mean? It's, we persevered through a lot this season. I think it's helped us through the playoffs and uh, hopefully we continue. Emotional e-ticket inside, outside Wrigley Field for Cubs fans. What a ride. The party postponed after a 3-0 lead, as you saw, turned into that deficit, clinching to crushing in just minutes. The fans leaving Wrigley stunned. Still need a cold one, not to toast with, but to cry in. It's the fifth time an LCS play a team overcame a three-run deficit when facing elimination. Three of the four previous teams won the series, including the 84 yeah, Padres against, the yes, the Cubs. Marlins also won after being down four in game one of this series. They are the fighting fish. Even the series on Tuesday, and you can see it is the marquee matchup at Wrigley Field. And you know, for a goat that's nearly 60 years old, it looks darn good, I think. Kerry Wood, he's a horse for the Cubs, trying to get that third victory in the postseason. First bat of the game, Juan Pierre doesn't start well for the home team. Shot to right, that's down. Sammy Sosa, he's down as well, trying to field it. That'll turn two bases into three. Here, cruising into third with a triple to lead off the game. Same frame, Pudge Rodriguez batting now with one out. Wood, ball four inside, so we got runners at the corner. Next man up, Miguel Cabrera, Linda. Yes. Man does some things. Here he drives one into the night. His third homer of the postseason. Marlins lead 3 nothing. Wood, 33 tosses in the first inning. Bottom second, Aramis Ramirez. Lines one, look at that. Third base, oh, it's Don't in touch the, him. Yeah, get, well, actually, well, he's a cub. Go ahead. But they were afraid to. And they were very nice. They all just got yeah. out of the way. The Don't C part is there. Later in the second inning, 3-1 Marlins carry. Wood, if it's fair, it's gone. Yeah, it's, it's plenty fair. A top 10 nominee. Wood tying the game at 3-3. Look at him again. He knew it. Head down, start jogging. We are back even. So we go to the third with a brand new ball game. Wood seems to be settling down. Pudge Rodriguez in the box, back in the dugout. Air ball, nasty pitch. Cabrera, he just looked at that one. Home half of the third, tied at three. Moises Alou, a big stick, and that is the park completely and as you'll see there are more people out of the park than inside the park they are going nuts that's off mark redmond who's lose second home of the postseason five three cups top four alex gonzalez with the liner and look at that in the field there's moises again five three no fan in the way of that one still five three game wood in the fifth brian banks oh walked him to start the inning that is never good with one out luis castillo draws a base on balls first and second and then Yvonne Rodriguez has hit safely in all 10, make it all 11 of the Marlins postseason games. The former driller knocks in a run. The score banks its five, four cubbies. After an RBI ground out by Cabrera to tie it, that brings Derek Lee, and the fish sticks are red hot. Single to right, Pudge will score, and the Marlins lead 6-2-5. Home half. Game five starter Josh Beckett pitching in relief. Gets Mark Grizzolotic with a little blooper. Miguel Cabrera, top 10 quality. Will catch that one. The Marlins lead protecting it. One, six, five. Two outs in the six runners on the corner. Castillo then off Kyle Farnsworth. Jeff Conine's going to come in. Look at that again. Farnsworth can't believe it. Off his glove. That's just bad luck. Really? The Cubs' bad luck? Do you think? Oh, boy. And you sense things are slipping away. Still 7-5. Aramis Ramirez, the grounder. Lowell, the stab. Nice play. Good to be back on the roster and playing there. Top 7-7-5. Seven, seven, Gonzalez, the blooper. Kenny Lofton charging and can't get to that one. It falls. Lowell scores. Conine scores. It's 9-5. Gonzalez goes to third, and he's in, and then he's not in. He comes off the bag, get the tag, he's out. Marlins are damage done, leading it 9-5, bottom eight. It's a 9-6 game now. Beckett to Sosa, perhaps Sam's last at bat of the season. He goes down looking. Beckett, four innings of relief, one hit and one run, three Ks. We go to the ninth. Three outs left for the Cubs. Ugi Urbina, Randall Simon, two outs left for the Cubs. Alex Gonzalez, one out left for the Cubs. It's up to Paul Bacco. 
1 and 0 the count on Baco. Runner goes. They're going to let him go. As the pitch swung on and hit to left field. This should do it. Conine is there, and that's the game. And the Florida Marlins are going to the World Series. You heard the man, Jack McKeon, and the 70 something man staying up late and loving it. Marlins on their way, celebrating with joy and rapture in the opposing park. And then the Cubs fans, well, these eyes have seen that before. Juice for the winner, Stogies, too. We shocked the world, baby! Everybody shocks the world these days. Conan and the Marlins. 9-6 win. Take the series 4-3. Marlins still undefeated then in postseason history. They won all five in their franchise's trips in October. Cubs six straight losses when trying to clinch the NLCS. Curses! 18th time that Mark Pryor Carey would have started back-to-back -back games. Only the second time the Cubs have lost both of those games. Pudge the MVP, but here's a little bit from everybody who played a part. It's just a, probably the biggest moment of my professional career I mean I, I I can't even explain it I probably haven't even sunk in yet but I do know that it's a wonderful feeling is it disappointing yes yeah, disappointing because you know we wanted to go to the World Series but I mean life's full of disappointment sometime and uh, you got to build something you know for the future and we felt that we uh, established and built a heck of a foundation for next year and the years to come I don't worry about a, a Billy Goat or Babe Ruth or nothing like that. I just like so we just we go out and play the game, and, and that's what you got to do. And nobody believed that we could beat the Giants, and and that's why you play the games because anything can happen once you get here. Sounds like the slot machine's going on. Hold on. <laughs> Who is it? Hello. Who's, call, who's calling, Jack? The president. Hey, Papa. Whatever. Yeah, what there? I'm at a news. Yeah, what? Who is this, Bailey? <laughs> okay, thank you, dear. I'm on a press conference now. I'll call you back at the while, okay? Uh, I love you, too. All right. It, it says they have the cell phones off hey, during the interview. you got it first hand for my grandkids. Oh, it's always nice when the youngins dial up. They should be in bed, though. Marlins become the fifth team in postseason history to win games six and seven on the road after trailing three games to one. Last team to accomplish the feat, the Royals in the ALCS of 85. KC then went on to rally up, win the World Series as well. Carl Ravage, Errol Reynolds, Bobby Valentine on how the NLCS was won.